Alright guys, so we're going to make another video and I have a bunch of uh, tea bags that are like the family size giant tea bags and they're good for like um, making sweet tea or um, sun tea or something. You just drop a bag in. So I have quite a few. I have this container um, that I'm, I just threw in here. <laughs> Got these containers at Walmart. And here's another one. It's full. And then I have these two bags here that I already had full. And I just wrote sweet tea bag because I would know um, what size they were. So I was just getting ready to seal them up and I thought well I can try and make a video and I hope it comes out right because my head's not thinking straight and so I actually have my camera turned the opposite way where I can't see it um, because I can't get it to come down. I had I I just have to play with the um stand that it's on or the tripod that it's on and configure it right cuz I've done it a few times before. So anyway, all you need is a hair straightener. There's one way, and this is the way I'm using it. And I have two hair straighteners. I have a skinny one that's long and then I have this one and so I'm going to use this one. So you'll need one of those. And you'll need mylar bags. So I'm just showing you a way to preserve your food. And my bags come in all different sizes. I have, I only have two sizes. I have, there's a gallon size bag and I have a five gallon bag that I use in my five gallon buckets. And I got the bags and oxygen absorbers in like three different places. These bags I got from Shield Pro. And I bought them online, um, but you have to go online to find them. So I'm going to wait for this to heat up. And so also what you'll need is oxygen absorbers. And for, I have uh, three different sizes. I have 300 cc's, 2,000 cc's, and 500 cc's. Now, for a gallon size bag, and you can look this up online, um, this is one to two. They usually go about 300 cc's per gallon. I'm just going to put one in here, um, but I'm, I'm putting the, the tea in the mylar bags now because we're going into fall, and I usually don't drink a lot of tea during this time of year. Uh, so... What else did I have? I had, you know, you'll want to, it's around here somewhere, I knocked it, here it is, get a Sharpie or some kind of pen and mark uh, or write on there what's in the bag and you can date it. I don't have an actual date of when I got these, but um, I usually just write the month and the year on the bags to be to tell you the truth, I really don't know how long this will last in a mylar bag, but it'll last a really super long time, and longer than the bags that this came. These came in like a bulk for like, um, say a restaurant or something like that. So they they were all in a big bag, and I took them out of the big bags. So I think I had two bags of them. Um, Actually, I think I have some in my kitchen pantry, too, so. Um, but I know I'll, I'll use this way, way sooner than these will allow. So these, I don't know if you can see, these have a little niche or cut right there so you can tear it open. So basically, you just fill it up as much as you want. You want to leave some space. Well, first let me get my oxygen absorbers. That would be the smart thing. And um, 
the bag that these came in, they were sealed tight. And then all you need to do is stick them in a mason jar and seal it up and they will seal themselves. So I'm going to stick one in each bag. And get this as straight as you can. And all you really need to do is leave yourself some room. And this gets really hot, so don't touch it like that. And basically, that's, that's it. They are sealed. And these bags can be reused, like when you cut it, if you have something smaller, you can put something smaller in there and, use, and just keep using the, the bag for as long as you need it until, you know, you can't use it anymore. So, I'll get this one. the bag that's it I'm gonna shut this off right now yeah sure I am and that's it and then you stick it in a place uh, where it'll stay dry and cool. It likes a dark room, so that's what we have. And don't forget to seal back up your oxygen absorbers. And see, oh, look, that sealed that quick. That quick, it's done. So I'm gonna um, stop the video and I'm gonna continue with the rest of them. I also wanna check to see if you can see anything. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I finished. Um, I ended up getting, let me see if you can see this. Still don't have it right. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six bags. And I also wanted to mention, in case you haven't made um, sweet tea or sun tea, um, this is probably a little bit bigger than a family size like Lipton because I think you have to put like three of the family size bags in your gallon um, jug. Um, I usually do the, like the sun tea. I just stick it in a gallon uh, clear container. I stick one of these bags in there and let it sit for a few hours until it's dark enough. Or you can do it on the um, stove with a pan of water and get it um, hot and then stick it in your jug but it usually takes like a cup of sugar um, per one of these so anyway that's why I'll find a place to stick this in my pantry uh, <laughs> I, I need more ideas on where to put stuff um, I could find a, a five gallon um, bucket might be one in there still and then I can probably stick these in there hopefully they all fit and then I have gamma lids I got the the lids and the uh, buckets from tractor supply there's various places you can buy them about three dollars at tractor supply for the buckets and then the lids were about nine and um, I like them because they're just easier you just spin it off and on come to two pieces because um, the other lids that come with the bucket or that are next to the buckets that like tractor supply you have a you can lift it with your hands but they also have a tool to lift it up and I don't know they're just more of a pain for me so I went and spent the extra money for the gamma lids so it'd be easier to get in and out of 
So anyway, I'll try and get this thing loaded. Um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Um, most of the time when people watch my videos, they I know that people have watched them, but they don't leave a comment or don't hit the like button. Even family members, I'm just like, oh, it please. Um, so anyway, let you go for today. Bye-bye for now.